Just yesterday on Tuesday, May 17th, Apple released Swift Playgrounds 4.1 for Mac and iPad. There's a ton of new features available, so let's jump right to it. The first feature is that Mac apps can now support Swift UI as long as you're on macOS Monterey 12.4 or later. So if you don't already have Monterey 12.4, go ahead and update now, and then you'll be able to use Swift UI in your Swift Playgrounds applications. Next up, Apple's also released a bunch of guided walkthroughs for teaching Swift UI app building basics. These can be found in two different locations. So if you open up Swift Playgrounds, at the bottom here you'll see you have a bunch of different tutorials that you can choose from, and you can hit see all and check other ones that are available. And if we click one of these, say editing grids, it'll load that project right into your Swift Playgrounds. So we can double click on it and start the tutorial and walkthrough process. They also have this content available on their site, and I'll put this link in the description below, developer.apple.com slash tutorials slash sample apps. You can see other things that they have available. Click on any of them, and it will bring you to the project itself. You can download project files, and then search through the comments and the code itself that they use. App Preview now shows you live updates as you are making changes to your app. So let's quit out of this and make a new Swift Playground. My app. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see. We got an instant preview here. And let's just add another image called System Name Pencil. We see that it instantly added. And just like the other image, let's set the image scale to be large and we'll set the foreground color to be blue. And of course, we can still click our app preview up here to restart, pause, or delete preview data and restart. Apps that we build now in Swift Playgrounds will run and install to our applications folder. So let's go back to Playgrounds and build out this app. To deploy this to the Applications folder, let's click on the My App and Your App Settings up here. And we scroll down to the bottom, and we see the option is available, Install on this Mac. When I click that, you'll see that it's installing our app. It actually opens up Finder for you and points you directly to the application. So if I double click this to run it, you'll see we get the dock item and it's appeared, and we have a full-fledged app on our Mac instantly from Swift Playgrounds. We can full screen, exit out, minimize, just like normal behavior. Quit out, and if we delete this, no harm, no foul, we can always build it again from. You can still use App Store Connect to upload your finished app to the App Store. And again, you'll need to be signed into your developer account. So you would wanna come up to Playgrounds, Preferences, and go to your Account tab and just make sure that you're signed in as your developer account. And if you don't have one, you can click in this Enroll Now button, which will take you to your developer.apple.com and help you to enroll into the developer program. Smart inline code suggestions will help you write code quickly and accurately, just like we saw. If we do dot background, we can easily add a background color of white to our pencil we get the code completion just as we expected. We can easily search across your project and across multiple files for whatever you're looking for. So let's go back here. So let's create a new source file. We'll just call this enum for now. And let's make an enum direction. And in our find source files, let's look for direction. Shows us our enum direction, and when we click on it, it brings you right to that declaration. We have a snippets library available that provides tons of different Swift UI controls and colors and symbols and stuff like that. So let's take a look at that. Let's go back to our content view. And if we wanted to add a button, click plus up here, and the button's the first thing in the menu right there gives us everything that we need. Action, print, hello. Button works and we see our little console prints hello. 
The list is quite long of things that you can add, canvases, gradients, toggle fields, scroll views, and anything else that you can really think of. It's also neat that they added in the SF symbols here, so you can quickly find whatever you're looking for, such as doc.append, and it, click on it and it will give you the image system name. So if we hit enter, we'll get another image with the system name just below our button. Swift Packager has also been implemented supposedly into this version of Swift Playgrounds, allowing you to grab publicly available code from these URLs. So if we go back to our playgrounds and open up our browser as well, let's look for Alamo Fire, for example, package manager. We'll go to GitHub, scroll down to the package manager part, and let's grab the URL that they're asking for here. Now, if we go back to playgrounds and we do our file add package, you see we get the package URL here and if we paste it, there is no way to add this to our project. Nothing actually happens. I've tried this with a couple different URLs and none of them seem to work. So I have another URL here to try for Crypto Swift. Perhaps I'm doing this wrong. Uh, if you know of a solution to this or maybe I'm doing it wrong, go ahead and put it in the comments section. Otherwise, I'm not sure if this is just a bug or not or what's going on here. And for the last feature here, App Projects makes it easy to move projects to Xcode and back. So let's open up our playground here. We have our app that's finished and ready to go, but let's say we want to do some work in Xcode. Well, let's quit out of Playgrounds and open it back up again. You'll see what you have our app here. Let's right click on it and hit show in Finder. That's, we're going to reveal where this file is. And now if we right click on this again, open with Xcode, you'll see it opens our project right away. Let's make it a little bit larger. You can see that the preview is running. We have our full preview ready to go just as it appeared in Swift Playgrounds. And in here, let's add another enum for, let's say, suits for cards. So we have case, heart, diamond, club, and spade. Command S to save our project. And let's go ahead and quit out of Xcode and come back to our playgrounds. You'll see we got that little up arrow there that flashed. So that indicated that there were changes being made. So let's double click on that and double click here to make it larger. We come back to our enum and we see that suits has been successfully added from Xcode and we can easily do the same thing here, adding one more enum for fruits. Let's add case, apple, banana, orange. Now let's go ahead and save. And if we come to our Xcode and open up my Swift, my app loads and we have enum fruits just there. So this is a huge update for Swift Playgrounds, a lot of new features, a lot of cool functionality being added here and some other bug fixes as they've indicated. I hope you enjoyed this video and learn a couple new things. I'm kind of new to Swift Playgrounds. I don't usually just do my development in Xcode instead of Swift Playgrounds. So I will be making more content on this. Let me know in the comments section if there's anything in particular you'd like to see. Otherwise, have a great rest of the day and thanks for watching.